Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on my B6. This is the Simply Gilded B6. I did do a setup video which I will link up in the cards for you in case you haven't seen it. But I'm going to be doing a monthly spread today and I'll quickly show you my inserts. These are just inserts that I've done for myself just in case you didn't see that video. Um, so these are what I'll be using and I kind of write down a word or something that had happened every day in April. So this is kind of like a, a rewind plan with me, I guess. <laughs> I have already scratched my hand trying to put the camera on the tripod, so we're off to a good start. Um, I'm also going to be using these stickers. I showed you this in a mini Amazon haul. Um, so I'm going to be using this today because it's got the days of the month here and it's also got some date dots. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and start by doing that. Let me get my tweezers. So let's just grab April. And we'll just start, I guess. No idea really what I'm doing. I feel like I say that in every video, but that's the truth. Let's zoom you guys in so you can see too. That would be a good start. So I'm just going to cover up the word notes with April. Was it April? March, April, May. Yeah. There we go. And then I will also, let's try and put it on straight, I'll also put the date dots on. So the 1st of April was, was it a Friday? Um, no, it was a Thursday. Okie dokie. Okay. So um, for, oh my goodness, for this, I'm just going to be using poppets to kind of explain the day um, or something that has happened. I have already picked out my poppets because my poppet stash is very large and it would take me probably two hours just to find poppets that I'm looking for. So um, I've already kind of pre-picked them out. I've got some sheets here with me as well, just in case I change my mind or I want to use a different one. This is going to take a while. Well, that's okay. We'll just have a chit chat. So, um, how is everybody doing? <laughs> Not that you can answer me. Perhaps one day I should do like, a, I should do a um, a live video. So then we can like talk in real time and you can actually answer me. I don't know if I'd have to do that on YouTube or like on Instagram. I could, maybe one day. I'd be so nervous though. And then it would just be awkward silence because I'm so nervous. <laughs> this is the first time I'm using stickers from this book that I bought from Amazon. I just like how shiny they are. If anything is shiny or sparkly, I'm a happy person. So I've got kind of a mix of things that happened in April. Some of them are embarrassing. <laughs> Some of them are very happy. That's Alexa telling me my Amazon is on its way. So no doubt the door will go soon. I might be finished by then. I don't actually know how long this spread is going to take me. I think this is the longest part putting all of these date dots in. How many days were in April? Is it 30? Yeah. I quite like these, they're very shiny and very pretty. I've had to quickly put on or put my nails back on because I'd taken them off. Um, and then in my tiny planner video, I done like an orange spread and my nails since going back to work have all broken so my nails normally are pretty long anyway and they grow quick so I'm quite lucky but as soon as I went back to work after the first full week um, they were all broken all ripped <laughs> so um, for my tiny video I was like oh it's okay I'll hide everything by putting nail varnish on so ooh, so I painted them a really bright colour which isn't very me anyway, I kind of like muted tones or pastel-y colours. 
oh my goodness, they looked awful. And I was so embarrassed while I was filming it. And I thought, actually, nobody's going to look at your nails. Just, just carry on, just go for it. And then for this video, I was like, no, I, ca I can't do it again. <laughs> so I'll just put false nails on. It'll be fine. It's weird putting false nails back on, actually. But like I say, my Alexa's telling me something again. Um, my nails grow really quick, so I'm lucky in it that way. My hair and my nails grow really quick. Oh, talking about hair, I'm actually going to go and get my hair cut. So my hair is pretty long. It's at least down to my waist. And if it's dead straight, it goes down to maybe the top of my bum, maybe. But I'm going to go and get it cut. I think I'm going to go for a short bob kind of feel. So I'm going to get a lot cut off, which is exciting. Okay, so that's all of the dates down. So um, where's my paper? Here it is. Where's my poppets gone? So on the first, I have written down housework. Um, I do housework constantly. So that's no surprise. So I've got a little poppet from the home life um, sheet and I'll just pop him down and zoom you guys in again. And then for the second, oh, I've got down that I was overworked. So I just had everything happening at once and I was running behind in my shop and I was trying to get everything cut. And it was a bit of a stressful day because I was trying to get everything caught up for when I actually went back to work which I think was the next week. And I just kind of over pushed myself. I was trying to do every single job that I do on one day and it was very stressful. Um, and then on the Saturday, I done orders and I think I posted them as well. And then on the fourth, it was Easter. And as everybody else probably was the same, we ate way too many Easter eggs and were completely stuffed. So I'm using one of my stuffed poppets down. For the 5th, what happened? Oh, it's bank holiday on the 5th. Let me put a love heart poppet down. And then on the 6th, <clears throat> oh, I put down that I had to post lots of orders. I think I dropped off, is that gonna fit? I think I dropped off like, mm, I can't really remember, in the 40s um, orders. So my post office <laughs> was not impressed. And I walked in there with you know three massive stacks of orders for them to do um but that was because i had a sale i believe yeah i did i had a sale and that's why i had so many click that on the seventh i spent the day designing all of the releases that are coming out well it was i done the end of april and the ones in may and I designed most of them on this day. I just had a really productive day. I had the right kind of coffee, obviously, and I just designed all day. And then on the 8th, I was really, really productive. So I put like a little celebrate pop it down because when you have those productive days, you need to celebrate them because mine don't last very long. <laughs> and then, um, oh, I went back to work on the 9th. And I really wasn't looking forward to going back. So I've put one of my sad poppets down. This one is from the feeling sheet. And then on the 10th, I was super tired. And I've got one of these from the coffee sheet. Laying dead, holding out the coffee cup, which was definitely me. And then on the Sunday, oh, I've done housework. So this again is from the home life sheet. And then on the 12th, I was at work and I just had one of these days where you were like, nope, don't want to do today. So I've put one of these note ones down. This one in particular is from, oh, let me get the sheet, hang on. So this is the sheet of nope poppets. And this one in particular where it says nope, the one in the middle, um, you can't get that in a smaller size. These are the only smaller ones. But on one of my Poppet Squad's freebies, she liked the Nope one, so I made it into a tiny one for her freebie. And that's where this one is from. So that's the only place that you can get that one. It's on Becky's freebie. Uh, so I'm going to use that one down there. And then for the Tuesday, what happened Tuesday? On Tuesday, I've just written down Happy. So I'm going to use one of the 
Happy Poppets from the Feeling Sheet. Put that down there. And then I'm going to have to turn Alexa off in a minute. And then on the 14th, I've done some more designing. And for that, I'm going to use one of the laptop poppets. And then for the 15th, oh my goodness, for the 15th, I missed my shopping. So I had a delivery booked and um, my partner was supposed to be at home to get the shopping to be here. And he'd forgotten he went out, which mean which meant when they come to deliver it, nobody was here. So they took it back and we didn't have the shopping. And it's still not back into my account. And we're now one, two, three weeks ago that was. And they still haven't paid me back my money. So thanks, Asda. And then for the 16th, oh, I had a really bad migraine. So I'm going to put down one of the headache poppets. I remember I was struggling so much to drive back from work and um, I was just literally in bed for the next sort of day. It, it, was, it was awful. Um, and then on 17th, um, we kind of, I think we went out. Did we go out for a walk? In the late afternoon, I think. So I'm going to put the family of Poppets down. And we're a family of five, so I've got the five Poppet family. I'll just move this number up. Oh. There we go. And then on the 18th, oh, we've done the gardening. We had that um, spout of really nice weather, so we've done some gardening. For the 19th, oh, my daughter used this bath bomb. I think she got it from Lush. Um, I've just put down Ellie Pink bath bomb. So it stained her hands for a couple of days. Uh, bright pink and my bath was stained bright pink and um, yeah it was a complete mess and it lasted days so um, she had pink tinged hands it looked like she put on fake tan and then it was all over her hat it was so funny and um, so I've put the shocked poppet down for that one and on the 20th I've put multitasking down I think I was kind of juggling doing stuff in my shop and doing home stuff as well so I've put the poppet that's working from home with lots of hands doing lots of things. For the 21st, oh, my sticking machine, my sticker machine, my cutting machine was not playing ball. And I was about to throw it out the window on that day. And it's so frustrating because everything gets off cut. You can't use anything. It's a waste of paper, a waste of time. It's a nightmare when that happens. So that day, my machine was playing up literally all day. And then for the 22nd, oh, we went and bought some wallpaper and paint samples from B&Q. So put down my little DIY poppet. For the 23rd, what happened on the 23rd? Oh my goodness, I ripped my trousers at work. <laughs> And I mean, really ripped my trousers. It was very embarrassing. Everybody at work thought it was hilarious. And, oh, that was not, not a good time. So I've put the little worried puppet down because that was me. I had to tie my coat around my waist all day because I was so worried about it. Um, on the Saturday, oh, I went shopping with my mum, which was the first time in a year that we had been shopping together. So I've put the couple puppets down. Oh, the same, same thing um, from the couple sheet. That's what I was trying to say. And then on the 25th, I'd done a lot of filming and a lot of editing. So for that, I'm going to put down one of my planning prints stickers. This comes on a sheet with planning prints and planning princess. And then heading into the last week, what happened? Oh, on the 26th, my partner got his first vaccine. So I've Got one of the poppets from the COVID test sticker sheet, the little poppets at the bottom. So I'll put that down there for him. And then on the 27th, oh, I was super busy in my shop. Really busy, really, really busy. I think because I was so behind because of this situation, it has like a knock on effect because obviously I work as well as doing my shop. And if I don't get everything that I want to get done on the day that I've decided to do it, then everything gets pushed back. 
So I'm going to put the little poppet down in fire saying, this is fine. <laughs> I'm just going to move the date dot a little. Oh, okay. Pull it right up. Put this down. Put the date dot back down. Okay. And then on the 28th, I posted lots of orders again. Oops. So I put down a little happy mail poppet. And then I'm going to turn the sheet over. Um, oh, on the 29th, my eldest son, who was at college, found out he's going to be passing everything with distinction. It was only... Um, there was one that he needs to hear back from still, but everything else is going to be passing with the distinction, which is amazing. So I've put one of my little celebrate poppets down. And then for the last day, oh, I hurt my leg at work. So um, there was like a table thing at work and I went to push it back with my foot and my trainer slipped off the bottom of it. So my shin just hit into the shelf that's in the table like full on hit straight on the bone and I've still got a bruise now actually it hurts so bad <laughs> so um I've put the little crying poppet down or the sad poppet again and that is all of the poppets in for my monthly spread it actually looks really cute look at all those poppets oh so nice um what can I do here though um what I should have done is picked like top three grateful moments, but I didn't record anything like that. I have got another piece here that I'm recording bits for May. What could I put here though? So I've just picked up some random washi that I have down here. I mean, I could do a strip of washi going down there, but that's a wrong gold, not that kind of gold. It's more like this kind of gold, but I don't want to use that one. Um, oh, I've got some skinny washi. Should I do some skinny washi strips? Um, hold on. <laughs> I should have planned this out, shouldn't I? Um, let's do... Let's do a strip of this, I guess. If I don't like it, I'll take it off. No problemo. Uh, let's see where the end is. Um, I'll cut that off at his head. Um, t I just called it a, a he. <laughs> We were talking about this the other day, me and my sister, how everything in my house or everything that I pick up, it's always a he. Oh, I'll put him here. Or if I'm talking about a plant, oh, he needs some water. <laughs> I don't know why. Everything is just a he. And when I design my poppets, they're like not, they don't have a gender. Well, there's one with eyelashes, actually, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's female. But they don't actually have genders. Yeah, I always call them a he. Everything's a he to me. And I'll do another strip of this one. I'm going to have to think of something to put in this sidebar. Do we like the look of that? I think so. It just adds something rather than leaving it blank. I need my knife. Hang on. Okay, that's a little better. Right, so that is how my rewind looks. This is how April was. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of video or if you'd like to see this video again because I'll be doing it for May and if you like it, I will film it and if not, I'll just do it myself because I kind of really like it. It looks really cute. So I'm glad that I have um, done this in my planner. I've really been enjoying filming lots of different videos um, lately. I've been uploading two to three times a week which I've really enjoyed and 
I have got a new planner on its way. Now I know I already have four planners and I don't need another one, but just one more I think would be great. So um, well, as soon as that comes, I'll share it with you and I'll probably do another setup video with it. So I'm really excited about that one. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, then please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more planner videos. I hope wherever you are, you're having a great day and I will speak to you all next time. Bye everyone.